guys, uh, today we're back with our deck profile, and today I'm going to show you guys my updated Jurak decklist. Um, I used this a few times in our most recent uh, dual videos and uh, last few local tournaments, and I uh, was testing it out, and I think I made a pretty decent build for this format, so yeah, let's look, look at it. So starting off, uh, three... Uh, Solely and Oberaptor, uh, your main searcher of one well, of your main searchers of the deck, and uh, not much needs to be said about him to be honest. He's just your main searcher and your main foolish burial of the deck as well, so he's pretty much just Stratos of the deck. Uh, next, your three ultimate conductor Tyranno. Um, he's the pretty much the power play. Um, you can book of eclipse your opponent's field during the main phase or any during either player's turn. Uh, just then he can just attack everything. So yeah, he's just not much needs to be said about him either. He's just the uh, pretty much the one of the boss, one of the main deck and boss monsters for the deck. Uh, next, uh, two giant Rex just as a combo extender. To be honest, um, but yeah, pretty. Just, yeah, pretty much it. Just a combo extender and uh, could also get over stuff as well. And uh, that's it for the regular dinos. So, onto the Jurax. Um, three Guaiba. Um, pretty much your main special summoner for Jurax. Uh, he's pretty good. Uh, when he destroys a monster out of battle, he gets special summoner and Jurax with 17 or less attack from your deck. So, yeah, you gotta run with three. Um, run one Velo just because if you're gonna stall, he's pretty good for just stalling. But most of the time, people kind of, kind of like are if they're dumb, you're mostly gonna like most people are not dumb, so they're not gonna run into him to give you a plus. So you're most of the time you're just gonna have to you know hit something with him. Um, onto the tuners, I run one of each of the tuners. Uh, one Dino. One Gallum and one Aolo. I only want one of each of them in this build just because I only go into them maybe once in testing and stuff like that, and they're pretty situational. So, I, and most of the time I'm using them to get summoned off of, of Miscellaneous Source's effect for any given situation. So I just feel like running them at one is just fine because most of the time you're just going, you're only gonna see one only once, you're only seeing one most of the time. Uh, next. One Coatlas to search out Pill for most part. That's pretty much the reason why he's in there. And also for the rare times I summon him. Uh, one Miscellaneous for the protection and the and the combo extension, a combo extension uh, to get into Aolo and uh, Dino and Gallum. Uh, so that's it for Dinosaur Monsters. Uh, next on to the engine I run. Uh, the, I run the Resonator engine, so three Red Resonator and two Synchron Resonator. These guys are pretty good. Uh, Red Resonator pretty much, when he's normal summon, he can special and level four or lower monster from hand. And he can, if he's specialed, he can gain life points by the highest attack monster on the field. And Synchron Resonator is pretty much, if you were, there is a synchro, synchro monster in the field, you can special summon him from hand. And once he leaves the field by synchro, as a Synchro material, you can add a Red Resonator from grave to hand. So they're pretty good. Uh, they're really good at the combo extend uh, combo extension. I really think I'm gonna bump him up to three, to be honest, because I feel like hit running him at three would make this deck a little, a little more consistent with the combo extending. Uh, but yeah, they're really good. They're also good for pill fodder if you need them. So yeah, all around really good engine. I like it a lot. Uh, next, uh, two ghost ogres for the hand traps. I decided to just run ghost ogres in this build because I felt like it was because the ash, my ashes were in a different deck uh, but you can swap this out for any other hand trap to be honest you could use this for Valor, Droll, Ash if you had them so yeah this is pretty much like if you're gonna change it like the hand trap is pretty much hand trap lineup is pretty much personal preference in my opinion so that's it for monsters on to spells uh, three fossil dig uh, this pretty much is self-explanatory. You want to search out your dinosaurs, so yeah, run three in every dino tech. Uh, next, three resonator call to search out your resonators to get your engine to hand, pretty much. Uh, two pill 
helped uh, get out um, Conductor from deck and just uh, pretty much like OT help OTK and stuff like that. And yeah, it's pretty much the power play. Um, two Pot of Desires, I really did not want to put it in here. I really didn't, but in testing, I pretty much uh, had to put it in. Like, well, not had to, but it just worked well in testing enough for me to actually put it in. Uh, so yeah, I used this a few times and it didn't hurt that as bad as I thought it would be. So then again, if you don't want to use it, then that's perfectly fine. You can swap it out for anything. Uh, but for me, I just decided to put positive eyes in here because it just worked well for me. Uh, one Ghost Sarcophagus because you can banish this Spanish Giant Rex to get a free spec if you really needed to. One Rekindling because recurring, you can recur the Aeolo and also the Red Resonator to further extend your plays. One for one to search it to special summon out your Aeolo and Synchron Resonator from deck. One Soul Charge for more uh, recoverability, and lastly, two Call by the Grave because, as you saw in that one dual video, hand traps fucking kill this deck <laughs> a hard. <laughs> so yeah, I'm probably gonna bump up to three later. So, but yeah, t this is just for this build that I was using. I was using two, so but I'm probably gonna put it to three just because of that one time <laughs> because it was hell. <laughs> but yeah, on to the extra deck. Uh, one Giganotto because, uh, pretty much he's a main level 7, he's pretty much the poster boy of Jurex, so yeah. Other than Guayla, he's the poster boy. But yeah, he's pretty good, helps gain, get, helps Jurex gain tech, and yeah. Uh, if you go into him, you just, pretty much you're hoping to OTK at that point. Uh, one Velfito, he's usually, not, his effect is pretty meaningless to be honest. I uh, usually go into the combo extend and like to like um, single climb and other stuff. But if you were to use his effect, he gains the original attack up to the materials. He was like, like the original attack becomes the combined attack of the materials that were used, and he attacks a face down monster are just destroyed. Uh, next, one Armades because it's I think its effect is pretty good. The fact that you can just attack and they can't activate anything is pretty good. Uh, one Shambara because uh, it helps OTKs. Uh, one Brionic to bounce stuff back to hand. Coral Dragon, because it's just all around good synchro. Uh, Clearwing for negations. Black Rose for board wipe. Uh, for level eights, you got Beals as a wall, pretty much. Uh, Scarlight to destroy special summon monster. This Crystal Wing uh, for more negation. Trish, just because for memes. <laughs> uh, Lagia, Doka for just, you know, because they're poster boys of dinos, pretty much for the extra deck anyway. And one Chimera for the Link. Uh, this is a very uh, synchro heavy version of the deck because uh, Needle Fiber is not out yet, but once Needle Fiber is out, I'll probably make this deck a little bit more Link centric in a way. But for now, it's just more synchro climbing and everything. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this list. Uh, if you have any suggestions that you I like for me to change in the deck, leave it down in the comment section below. I love love to see. Uh, but yeah, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I should see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.